Welcome back to Breaking Point, everybody. I normally don't do this because I don't like breaking down other people's games and coming off like I'm trying to tell them what they did wrong or like I know what they're trying to do or anything like that. I don't want to step in it. But Lucas Chilito just threw a no-hitter, so I'm going to break that game down. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out on my way to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. And without further ado, Let's watch it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm interested. I call this crisscrossing the corner. You know, tunneling is a crazy concept. There's no way a big leaguer swings at that. If this ball's one to seven, he absolutely crushes it. Boom, that's the breaking point. Okay, so normally in these situations, I would break down what I know about the hitters and my approach and thoughts and all that different stuff, but I don't know anything about this lineup yet because I haven't faced him and I'm really not sure much about Lucas's approach. I know he's heavily fastball changeup and he throws a breaking ball. I'm heavily fastball breaking ball, and I sometimes throw a changeup. Uh, so I don't know a whole lot about the approach. I'm interested to watch and, and learn about it. Uh, so that's what we got. That's what we know going in. And if I see anything that stands out, uh, I'm just going to watch it. But if I see anything that stands out, I'll be sure to point it out. Let's do it. First guy of the game. OK, fastball, middle elevation away. Slider down, get a pop-up. All right, I want to check this out. This is something I like to do. I want to see where a guy's tunnels are because this is kind of how I, this is how I watch games. So here's a fastball, and it starts off kind of going towards, I'd say this goes towards the top of the zone here and then ends up like mid-row. So it looks like about... About half a, eh, maybe a third of a strike zone of drop on that. Okay. And the next one here is a slider, and it starts off, let's see, it starts off in the same place, and it goes about to the top of the zone, so it goes up maybe this way. It ends up kind of at the bottom of the zone here. Where's this contact point? Yeah, right about there. Okay, so to me, hmm. All right, so to me, I guess this tells me that the fastball, the fastball that ends up in this upper third about here is probably going to tunnel with the slider that ends up down here which is good because you don't want to end up in this zone because this is generally the zone that gives up damage. Okay, so I have a general idea of the fastball and the slider. So now let's see if I can find a change up in here. I'm sure you'll throw one. Okay, fastball up, miss. Fastball up, miss. Going back inside. Get the strike. Back inside again. I wonder if he wants that. Does he want that down? He's got this glove, middle elevation. Generally speaking, so we go fastball here, we got a fastball here, and we're kind of walking this way. But normally you would say go here first, here second, here third, and up the top four, and you're kind of walking the hitter up this way. Uh, you get a little bit, you, get, you might get a little a late swing here, you get a late swing here, you keep adding elevation, late swing, you might get a chase and a strikeout if you go that way. By contrast, if you're coming this way, you kind of speed them up by going one here, and then you're coming down, you slow them down a little bit, you slow them down a little bit, you slow them down a little bit, but you're coming like these pitches that get into the zone here are generally speaking kind of in the nitro zone because of the direction you're, you're leading in with the pitch. Um, but, I mean, clearly this is, they're, they're trying to work this guy kind of in this range. I think that's pretty clear. So, okay, we get the swing and miss here. So it's 2-2. Two, two. Going back up. Oh, we get away with one there. Let's see. So we're trying to go. I mean, we got a bad swing in here. So maybe we're trying to go back there. Um, this one ends up down and away. So it gets to a good spot. But after you've walked him back this way and you miss out over the plate, it's generally like, this pitch here and this pitch over here are kind of right in the wheelhouse. Generally get hit pretty hard. This one, I guess, it gets down in this good corner over here. And actually, you do see 
a little bit of out in frontness here. Like you see a little bit of the typical signs. You see the rounding of the spine. You see a little bit of a reach here, getting to the ball. And get to like extension. And then we reach a little bit right there. And then contact happens. You see this kind of off balance falling over towards the plate a little bit. So I think he's a little out in front. He was a little bit late on this one, a little bit out in front of this one. That's 95. This one down here being a mistake. So, all right. I think, I mean, if we've gone going back up and in on this, oh, change up. There's the change up. And then you get the swing and miss. Okay. Let's check this out. So we go with this fastball. We've gotten a fastball here and a fastball here. Now, if we remember the tunnel, this fastball has to, the top fastball had to have started going up about here. This one had to have started at that about that elevation. So we're going to play this forward and we're going to see where this changeup ends up. There's the release point of the changeup here. Okay, so it comes off. I mean, this changeup starts kind of in this in this general range where it probably looks like a heater and then it ends up I mean bottom of the strike zone too somewhere in this range so we got about a full strike zones difference on the on both the changeup and the slider from what it looks like so we get this bad swing makes sense we go right back to it get the swing and miss. This is interesting though. Why? So if we look at the glove, generally generally speaking, you'd want to see the glove down here because you'd want to throw a change up down. But he's got this glove when Lucas is starting the pitch here, he's got this glove in the upper part of the zone. I wonder if he's trying to throw an elevated change up here or actually, you know, some pitchers may so this that might be it. Some pitchers have to look at where they want to start the pitch so that they can start it on this line and then have the movement take it down here. I'm kind of the opposite way where I look, if I want to end a pitch down here, I look down here and I let the break kind of take it to that spot. Uh, maybe Lucas is one that, that has to look at kind of the line that he wants to start it. I mean, we have a fastball here and a fastball here This at bat, so maybe he's trying to start this on the fastball line and break it down. Because that's what that's what that's what ends up happening here. We start this change up and it looks like that fastball top row and then it kind of breaks down. So that's that's probably what's going on. He's probably looking where he wants to start it. All right, upper shelf change up. Fastball kind of gets in on him, beats him a little bit. We get a fly ball. Good sequence. Upper shelf change up. There's that. Gloves down here, centered. That's that's interesting. It's glove is just center of the zone. I'm not trying to hit a corner or anything like that. It's just dead center. Interesting. Okay, so we go dead center change up here and we get this upper shelf. All right. This one's borderline. A lot of people, we got a we got an upper shelf change up last at bat, got an upper shelf change up here. Generally speaking, off-speed pitches in this area perform well. There's very few hits right there for a hitter. Uh, off-speed pitches in this zone is very good for a hitter. They like this zone here. And then off-speed pitches down, not great for a hitter. Generally are outs down here. The reason being, in order to get into this upper zone right here. This, these balls have to start up out of the zone and fall with gravity or break into the top. So when hitters see stuff starting up here, they go into take mode. So if they end up swinging at this top zone, it's kind of these emergency swings like, oh, I didn't really mean to do that. So a lot of people will see balls like top zone breaking balls or, or change ups or something and they'll say, oh, he hung it. And while it's probably true because not a lot of guys try to throw top shelf off speed, there's not a whole lot of damage up there. There's a lot of taken strikes. There's a lot of bad swings and not a whole lot of damage. It's that really that middle elevation where the damage comes in. Get that ground ball to second. 
auto take there. Trying to go up and in. Man, I so the first one looks like an auto take there, but the second one was he auto taking again or he just didn't pull the trigger? I don't know. And then top. That's a great sequence. You get this one auto take. The second one I think is kind of dangerous to throw it there, but you get the take and then you just add speed up top and it's by him. Really good sequence there. Stubborn on the inner half. I like that a lot. Fastball up, waist, change up, change up down. Great sequence. Great sequence there. Okay, so here's, let's scroll back to the first pitch here. So this is interesting. You got fastball here, right, and it ends up up. Let's get to where does it end up? It ends up here. So it kind of is on this line. The next pitch, you kind of use that, and you get this upper shelf changeup starting right in the same place, following a very similar line, and then kind of down into the zone, and he's way out in front of it. So these two actually tunneled fairly well together. You get kind of this movement to that pitch. So then you go to the next one, and you got this change up here. So this sets kind of a new tunnel. So this pitch comes off like in this motion. And then you come to the fastball right after it that follows that yellow line pretty well. Ends up with a swing up top. Not a perfect tunnel but a really well executed sequence. You get the early contact on this, you get the buy-in, you go right back up top here, and you get that you get that swing and miss. All right, Tucker, young hitter, yeah. Watch his face right here. He kind of knows, he's like, mm. Dang, okay. Just kind of preying on the aggressiveness here, you get that check swing up top. Change up, upper shelf way out in front of a changeup. So now at this point, you've gotten swing up here and you've gotten miss on change up here. You can go change up down below. You can go right back up here with the fastball. To me, after the out in front here, I think it's change up below. That'll be my guess. We'll see what happens. Yeah, went with the change up again. Got it kind of up and away, but still gets the, the play. This is 81. So I've seen him so far this game. I've seen him up to 96 on the fastball, and we've seen, at least I've, I've looking at the radar, I've seen down to 81. So we're looking at 15 miles an hour of spread here, and you can see that in this swing. So he's triggering here, he's swinging, and then he's out in front. He's trying to reach, and the ball still isn't there, and he's way out in front of this, and just kind of waves at it. So speed difference got him big time there. Dyson. Fastball in, look like change up there. Fastball in, fastball. Generally speaking to Dyson, you want to end up on this side of the plate with heaters. Dyson's looking for something kind of out in this area, generally speaking, to shoot this way and run. That's kind of his game. You get it in this, in this area here, and you force him to hit it this way. Shorter throw, a lot less infield hits, a lot less hits in general. So... This makes sense to me with what I know from Dyson from playing him in Kansas City. Great take. I don't know how he took that. That was a great pitch. Right there. Wave at it. And then the fastball up. What a good sequence. 3-1. 3-1, you get this change up. Here. Looks like that fastball. Look, I mean, look at that. That's a fastball up. And this thing just bottoms out. Gets to the bottom of the zone. And then the very next pitch, if you look, this just goes right in the same spot and gets off the handle. You can see where he hits this ball just right off the handle of the bat there. So really great sequence right there. Coming back from a 3-1 count, executes two pitches perfectly together. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. Calm it down, guys. <laughs> You got a meeting of the minds out there. All right. Got a little squirrely. Top three. Slider. Good pitch. 
Slider again. Throw it again. Oh, we want 97. All right, so now we're up to 90. We're up to 97 on the fastball now. To me, slider, strike, swing and miss. I'm thinking slider down there, and you just continue to walk him this way. As soon as he doesn't swing at one, you can go right back to the fastball up. Lucas chose to go right to the fastball up. Don't get it. You go back to slider here. Fastball up. Oh, okay. Should get that freeze take. Spiked. This is interesting. So Gonzalez was aggressive in the first at bat. Swung at the first two pitches of the game. We get the spike here that's not close, but then he lays off a changeup in here that has a lot of the plate, a lot of the, I mean, this is, doesn't miss by a whole lot and just swings. To me, this pitch is barely inside and you see this motion. So he's got to be looking out here to me. If the only way he gets out of the way of this is if he's looking out here and this looks way in. So if he's looking here, this ball looks about a foot inside. Um, that's the only way you're trying to get, get out of the way of this to me. So I think he's kind of looking away in this at bat. That was 80. Changeup now has been in down at 80. So we have a changeup at 80 and a fastball at 97. So we got 17 miles an hour of difference here. That's pretty crazy. Fastball down, four pitch walk. First pitch, changeup, 79. Now we're up to 18 miles an hour of difference this game. Pretty, pretty crazy. I guess everyone else after this gets out because he only walked one guy and no one got a hit. So that was the walk. A four-pitch walk to start the fourth away from a perfect game. Right, just speed difference got him there way out in front, popped it up. Fastball up and away. You can use that. You go in here. Yep, you get the take. Now that the bat's over to me, you can go up. You can go change up down. I think that was a slider. Was that a slider? Yeah, looks like a slider to me. Get that. You get a little bit of buy-in on the hitter. You see this? A little bit, but not a whole lot. What do you go back to here? Uh, okay, yep. Great sequence. I mean, once you get you get this one and you get this one, Anything starting at this height, you've already established both sides of the plate. I think, you know, you get you don't get the, the swing on the slider here, and you go a little bit closer to the zone, and you get this really kind of out in front, flaily, just speed difference gets him, depth gets him, way out in front. Great pitch, great sequence. Fastball in. Swing and miss. Up above. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Got away with one there. That's the first hard hit ball I've seen this game. I don't know if it was really even that hard hit. You see a little bit of this alligator arming right here. So, I mean, Bell's a big, strong dude. He pulled his hands inside. But he gets the barrel to this. So even though he pulls his hands inside, you can see this ball's right off the barrel. Right where he wants to hit it, and he kind of smokes this ball. You see Giolito's reaction here, too. He's like, uh-oh. Um, but this is so, – so you get away with this one here. Not get away with it, but you throw the first pitch strike there. Generally speaking, Bell's going to hit that kind of down and in spot best. So he just wasn't swinging first pitch. You, you get this one. Then you go to this spot here for the swing and miss. So now you've shown him this. You've added a little bit. To get to this, now you want to add a little bit more to get to some, something up here. And I think that's where they're trying to go. See the catcher stood up. He's giving a target like way up here. I think to me, this one, if you're going to go heater again, it's got to be up by his mask and see if you get the chase. Um, and we just get right to the same spot. So once you, you show him this, you add some. You show him this. If you're going to show him that again, you've just led him right to this spot. So you beat him to the spot with the second pitch, but then you throw the third pitch right there, and he's at that spot now. And that's, I think, how he, he didn't quite get to that spot. You see he's a little bit late on this, but hits it, oh, man, right into a shift. I mean, there's no one else over on this side of the infield. There's one guy, and he's within a step of where he hits it. Crazy. <laughs> Analytics are crazy these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, I know this feeling. Walking off, he's like, damn. Like, 
how did he get to that pitch? I think Lucas probably thought that was a little bit more above the zone than it was. But clearly the report there is you can finish him hard up, and he's just kind of looking off like, man, how did he, hmm, kind of a little bit of, little bit of confusion there. All right, we got Polanco, center changeup. Yep, way out in front, throw it again. Good take. Good take. Go again. That's that upper shelf changeup, man. Look out. He sees fastball up there. He swings, and the ball's just not close. Just waved at it. Crazy. Four in a row. Do you throw it again? Yep. Five in a row? Yep. Gas now? Oh, he gave him... <laughs> what? How? I mean, that ball's nowhere close. That's two ball widths below the zone and potentially one off. In. I mean, it's the right pitch. After six, after six change-ups, like, a fastball in here is the right pitch for sure. But, man... That is just nowhere close. Polanco's not happy. Understandable, understandable. Fastball down, ground out. One of the first fastballs down, like true down that he's thrown today. Uh-oh, that's tough. You get, a, you get a fastball up there and in a bat for a strike, it sets everything up. Interesting, though, Tucker here, first at bat, swung at this one up here. I wonder if he's going to be more patient this at bat than he was the first one. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 I get that. Just, ah, uh, I don't think so. Generally speaking, this is this is interesting that he got the call because, I mean, look at this. You got two eyes right here looking straight on to where the ball's coming in, and you see the plate right here. Generally speaking, on this part of the plate, in here and especially up, you only get about 25% of those, of those calls. And by those, I mean in the shadow zone, not in the zone itself, but the ones that are ball width off or ball and a half off, you only get about 25% of those last time I checked. Out here, you get about 50% of those calls. So interesting that he gave him this call. I mean, he just... He had to see that's off in. He's looking right, looking right at it. But he gets the call. This is tough. Strike right at the top. Strike in here. With a guy with a changeup this good, like changeup anywhere down here, I think he's out in front. Or fastball up here, I think he's out. Set this bat up really well. Let's see what happens. Where's he go? Up heater. I think if that's here, I think if it – let's pause this. I think if that third pitch is here, it's an out. Got a little bit in. I miss what happened here. What happens here? Goes to the changeup now. Yep, way out in front. Yep, there it, there it is. That's the pitch I was looking for. I think if the third pitch is right where this one is, I think you get this exact swing and miss. That's kind of what I'm talking about, about leading him up. You go here, you get one here, then you go a little bit higher. So you add some speed this way, and you add some speed that way, and he's late. Um, I think the change up down here, definitely a great, great idea and, and really got him locked in the middle of those two speeds. And then this ball just beats him. Heaters into Dyson. Oh, we try to slide her in. I don't, I don't mind that. Fastball in. There's exactly what we were talking about. Dyson grounds over here to the second baseman and it's an easy out. You can see Dyson's not even running hard. He knows he's a lot faster than that, obviously, but he knows he's out. Slider, bad swing, way out in front. Miss fastball away. Top shelf slider, there it is. Oh, <laughs> man, I've been there. I've been here too. You see a little bit of body language out of Lucas here, this top shelf. He's clearly trying to go down with this. If you watch his body language, there's a little like, ooh, like you see the hand right here. A little bit of like, ooh, I can't believe it. Okay, I got away with it. Let me let me shake it off. Get a little shake right here. 
Okay, I got away with it. Now, if you watch this one, there's a little bit of, uh, you saw it right there. See the head? He throws the pitch, looks, gets the swing and miss, but he's already like, ooh. See this head kind of lean right here, like looking up this way, head kind of tilted off to the side, like almost eye rolling himself like, man, I didn't hit my spot, but I got away with it. Okay. Third at bat for Gonzalez, starts him off with a slider. Top shelf changeup, weak out. Lots of outs up there. Whoa. What happened there? It's just a routine play. Tim throws it. Okay, so this throws high and arm side. What a play by Abreu to save it. Wow. So he's on the base here. He's got to get inside, elevate, and get up to the ball. He's got to catch the ball. And you see his head. You can kind of see his head's like on the ball here, tracking it in. Head looking here. And then he's got to turn his head and get the glove for the tag and executes it perfectly. So, all right. Usually during a no-hitter, there's, there's a couple plays. There's a couple plays like that. Uh, great defensive plays or near misses. We had the one line drive right at the guy in the shift and we got this one. That one probably would have been an error. So it probably wouldn't have been a hit, but still saves it. All right, we're in seven now through six. Fastball in, great spot. Oh, he gave him that one too. Mm. I like that. I like that. I think we're trying to go here with that one. Fastball here, fastball here. You break that slider in. That makes sense to me. Go back, elevated heater here. Oh, that's that's a moment for sure. Trying to go up, and we miss just... To the same guy. We missed down here and won at bat. And, uh, man, look at this swing. I mean, it is right on time. It is full extension right into contact. I mean, look at just straight through. Solid. We, we don't see the nearly the amount of rounding or the reach that we saw in the first on the pitch that was down here. Just right on it. Balanced, very balanced, took a great swing, just missed it. Ball just slid off his barrel a little bit, just slightly below it. But that was a good swing. I'd say that's a mistake. I'd say we got away with that one. Back up and in. Yeah, just in in general, get a bad swing. But got away with one there. Change up down, not a bad pitch. Upper shelf change up. Oh, here we go. Wow, what a play, Tim. What a play. Is this off the, so this ball's got a lot of spin on it. I see that. I think this gets it off the end of the bat right there. Change up, so he's out in front of it. So he caps this. All right, so this ball's got a lot of side spin to it. It's spinning this way, which means it's gonna, when it, when it hits the ground, it's gonna kick. All right, Lucas is like, in pure no-hitter mode, anything that's coming back at you, you just immediately, like, let me try to cash this. <laughs> All right. That's cool. And then we're in a shift again. So here's this guy. Tim's playing way over here, and this ball is in straight-up no-man's land. This ball's also side-spinning, so it's spinning around this way, if that makes any sense. So when this ball hits the ground, it's going to kick this way instead of continuing on the same line that it's on which makes Tim's job even harder to get over here. So he's on a full sprint coming this way and then has to throw it this way. And you got a lefty in the box here. So he's already getting down the line. So what, let's see what happens here. So when this ball hits, there's, there's the hit and it kicks a little bit. And Tim does a great job here. Right? Look at this route that Tim takes. So instead of going like I drew it, where he's going straight across, Tim's actually following the grass so he can circle this ball and try to get something on the throw. Great lesson for some young infielders out there. You want to try to get around the ball, and this is why. If he goes straight to this ball, he's on a dead sprint this way, so he's got to chop, he's got to chop his steps up here, stop, 
and then throw this way. It takes too much time. If he gets around the ball, he can kind of be turning and where he can get something on the throw uh, and get the guy. All right. So he catches the ball here, eyes straight down on it. One step, transfer, plant, throw, and then a pick by Abreu to get him by half a step. This is not an easy pick. This is not an easy pick at all. This ball bounces. Oh. This ball bounces like this is a long hop. This ball's out here. If it's a if it's a short hop, it's hitting here and kicking up a little bit, and Abreu can get this on the short hop with his glove. It's not that. This is an in-between hop. Long hop, you're going to hit out here. It's going to bounce up nice to him. Short hop, it's going to hit here, take a little short hop, and he's going to scoop it. This ball's in between. This is the toughest one to pick because you don't know how this is going to kick. Also, Tim had to throw this sidearm, so again, this, this ball's spinning again. You don't know if it's going to kick this way, if it's going to go straight. You don't know what's going to happen here. And Abreu is able to just pick that out, no problem. So there's another moment where close. <laughs> that's, that's three now, maybe four. You got the errant throw by Tim. You got the line drive into the shift from Bell. You got getting away with this pitch out here that I, I think was a mistake, and you got that one. So here we go. Upper shelf changeup. So first at bat, swing and upper shelf changeup. Uh, second at bat, fastball, fastball, and then fastball here again. We get the line drive. I got to imagine we're going to stay somewhat slow to him here. So if upper shelf changeup. Upper shelf change up, swing through the bat goes flying. Great pitch, great sequence, great sequence. Polanco in strike. Third one he's taken down and in. Oh, there's another mistake. We're trying to go up and in here, and we get away. I mean, this is full extension here, full extension, and just rips through it. Perfectly balanced swing, straight up and down, not out in front. He was on it. He just missed that pitch. He just missed. We've done a lot of work in here, a lot of work in this area, a lot of work up top. So I'm wondering if this just, if the location over here just happened to get him or if he just missed the pitch. But this is just full extension to a guy like this this ball could have gone a long way he's right on time for that but it didn't and now you go in and just blow it by him miss this one down a little bit this he's this is the fourth pitch he's seen down here he saw two here in the first at bat and he saw one here in this at bat so gets there gets in on him a little bit kind of late on that swing a little bit off balance. You can tell this was not nearly as good a swing as the one right before it over here. We get that strikeout. It's good. Dang. You execute that pitch. This change up here, because it just sets up the fastball tunnel. You can go fastball above or you can go change up below. And that that first pitch just sets the tone. Yep, there's that fastball up. Now you got whatever you want. Change up down. Yep. What a beautiful sequence. Didn't get the swing and miss, but got a terrible. Terrible pop-up, great result. Tucker, hey, good take, good take. Getting paid for a little bit of patience here. Last at bat, he got some tough pitches called on him. We get a we get a one zero count there. Upper shelf change up. Foul. Ooh, that's like the second down fastball. I mean, this is probably exactly what Tucker's looking to hit. But he's seen so much stuff starting up here. Fastballs up here, changeups ending up in this part of the zone. He's seen changeups starting here and ending up down in this part of the zone. But he hasn't seen anything yet that's just straight shot down. So you get a, you you do work up, 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 stuff starting up. Either fastballs ending here or something that starts up there and works down, but starts up. Then when you take a shot down, you get a lot of freezes. And this is what we get here. A pitch that's very hittable that he freezes on. Tucker's a little bit upset. And then right back up. 
<laughs> Look at this. Just wants it very badly. Realizes he missed this reaction. <laughs> Lucas is great. Look at that. It's kind of like, ah, I missed. All right. Got to be a change up down, right? Oh, man. I don't know what I don't know what to make of that one. Just uh just kind of wailed at it. Young hitter, inexperienced maybe, undisciplined. Change up, mid waist. Change up in. We're in top nine, okay. Alright, gets that fastball in. Great pitch. Great pitch. Did he go on that? Did he get him? Yeah, he got him. What a good sequence. Oops. After this changeup swing down here, you got to throw it again. To me, I mean, that's my thought. When I see someone take that kind of swing, let me let me probe there again and, and throw it again, and we get the same basic height, and it gets punched. Slider up, miss. Ooh, that was a good slider. Throw it again. Yep. So this is exact. So you go here, you walk him here, you try it down there again. To me, I'm going right back here again with a no hitter in this situation. I'm going slider right back there again. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Yikes! All right. You go here, miss. Here, miss. Here, take. You're looking. You've drawn his eyes slow and moving this way and you've led him to a spot over here and now he gets one that he can hit right in the middle and you can see load timing just full extension right on it has a great swing at this and just misses it slides off the barrel a little bit easily a mistake that could have been could have been the unraveling of it but Gets away. You see the, yeah. Watch the face. Like, ah! Knows he missed one right there. Gets away with it. Gets away with it. We make the catch. See, I see they figured out their little communication down there. They didn't almost run into each other that time. Great pitch. Throw it again. Oh, man. You got to throw this again. Oh! No. Swing here, check swing there. Like this four times with a no hitter. Just throw the slider over here and see if you get the chase. I think you also win with this one up here. I think you get the swing and miss. But man, this is dangerous. Misses in the zone, hits an absolute rocket right at him. 97 on pitch 101. <laughs> All right. Well. Hey, what do I know? I've never thrown a no-hitter, so <laughs> take that for, for what it is. Probably a grain of salt, but uh, that's Lucas Giolito's no-hitter. Really fun watching it. Glad I got to break it down. Uh, really happy for Lucas, too. He's Every time I've talked to him, he's been a, just a really humble, great guy. So happy for him to have that kind of success. He's been on a serious roll. Southern California guy, always good to see him do well. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. That's Lucas Giolito's no-hitter. That was fun to watch. I don't get to watch baseball games and stuff like that as a fan too often, so always fun when I do. That's all I got for you guys. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share it with a friend. I'm out. See you in the next one.